quarantine is still going okay for you. We are now starting to see some positive results in, um, you know, uh, the flattening of the curve for the measures we've taken a couple of weeks ago. So today I have a very unique recipe for you and this comes as a request to uh, when one of the videos where it was uploaded had someone comment and ask me get more simple recipes from the place where I was born which is Andhra Pradesh in South India. I was born in Hyderabad but I kind of grew up um, you know in Andhra Pradesh. So this is a very simple recipe and it involves uh, ingredients that you find commonly at home and it's one of the tastiest things and if you play your cards right this can actually be kept in uh, the fridge for about a week or so and you can eat it with rotis, parathas, if you're South Indian you can eat it with dosa, idli, uttapam, vesvaratu, like whatever you're making you can eat it with that as well. It's very simple, it's just long, you need some patience, it's a very simple recipe. So today's recipe involves uh, boiled eggs. Uh, eggs have been boiled for about six or seven minutes and um, you know neatly uh, shelled out. Um, chili powder, turmeric powder and some salt and roughly about one and a half pounds of tomatoes chopped. Now for the tempering, which is known as tarka, I need a few other ingredients which I will show when the tarka is done. Okay? The eggs have been boiled and once you boil, it's always good to take and neatly, uh, you know, Put some gashes in them because we're going to fry and crisp up the outside skin. Okay. Uh, now the good thing about this, the, it's best enjoyed with really hot rice. It's also what I like to call peasant food because it's very, uh, you know, it's made with very simple ingredients. And you know, when COVID has resulted in a lot of job losses and you know financial hardships, you can just get like a pack of eggs and a few tomatoes and make this uh, for the entire family. So first things first, I've heated up a non-stick pan and to this very simply okay add the tomatoes no oil nothing yet and the goal of this is to cook down the red tomatoes in their own juice and have like a beautiful sour amazing amazing little chutney type of paste um, once this recipe is done there's another variation where you can make a tomato chutney uh, like this as well and I will show you how to do that a bit later. Now once you've done that, simply add all the three powdered masalas in there. There you go. I'm going to be adding that, so you see. So, not too complicated. There you go. So I'm just going to take a spoon and stir it a little bit, you know, just to get that thing going. And for this, I'm now going to be putting up the lid and leaving it slowly to soften and cook in its own juice for a good half hour or so. So welcome back. I have uh, now, you see the tomatoes, they're nicely cooked. There's a little bit of uh, sauciness to it. They're very sour, very tangy. They've cooked down to a mushy paste. Now, um, heat some oil. You have to take a little extra oil here, okay? And to heat it, oil, add a bunch of curry leaves to taste. Okay. Add a few here. See that they're spluttering. It's great. I'm going to add a few more. All right. Once you do that, add a little bit of mustard seeds. Just watch this. It's roughly one tablespoon. All right. And wait for them to splutter. Okay. See that beautiful spluttering. Once that is done, I personally now like to add the eggs and fry them in the oil a little bit. Right? Now what would really help, turn the heat up now and add just a dash of turmeric to the oil to flavor it. Okay? Now, um, the turmeric just as you can see, just, it's just a dash. See this? Less than half a spoon. Just add that into the oil to flavor that a little bit. There you go. Once you've done that, okay, you can then kind of move around the eggs a little bit and kind of get them close to death. Give them a little burnt. Just one more step. To this, if you want, you can add a few extra curry leaves um, and the extra oil helps you in storing this for a good week or so. Okay. 
lift it up. Um, keep moving them until there's a little bit of a crust on the border. You can. That's a very simple, simple thing. Now, if you don't want to do eggs, you can just, uh, you know, add a few other ingredients that I'm going to show you, and then just add the tomato paste in there and make what we like to call a tomato chutney to be eaten with dosas and and a bunch of other stuff, or simply with a roti. All right, now that this is fried, now for the other critical ingredients, come on up. Slit green chilies and five or six pods of garlic crust. I'm gonna flavor the oil with that as well. See that? Yeah. Beautiful flavor that you can kind of see. Now, and add the tomato paste in here. There you go. We're not done here yet. Okay. I'm just going to take some more water and uh, neatly add this extra stuff in here as well. And let it cook for a bit. let it cook out a little bit more. All right, so once you see the oil start to separate a bit from the sides and the, the moisture content reduced a little bit, you know, just gonna garnish it with a few coriander leaves and the perfect comfort egg curry, economical, tasty, sour, tangy, a little bit spicy, uh, very South Indian, all ready for you. Enjoy this, folks, with uh, roti or dosa or anything South Indian. Uh, it doesn't take too long to make very few simple ingredients. Uh, and let me know how it turns out in the comments. Until then, stay safe.